Behind me is the RH-150. We're going to head on over and see what's inside. Here we are inside the RH-150. Behind me is the Hearst boiler. It's a 150 horsepower boiler rated for 150 max PSI. Now this burner is a little different than some of our other integral burners. This is an externally mounted burner made by Oilon. This burner is set up to do natural gas, number two oil, or even propane if that's what you require. On this side of the trailer, we do have that natural gas line coming in, wrapping around and going to the burner. Here is the burner control panel mounted on the wall here. As we come around, we'll have the uh, main control panel for the boiler. Again, we have boiler link mounted here and the various electric panels. Now we'll head over to the front and see what's in there. Here in the front of the RH-150, we have what you may be familiar with if you've seen our RH-250 or RH-350 design. On the side here, we have this large feed water system. Up top of the feed water system, we have a stainless steel tank, 225 gallon. On the front of the feed water system, we have a modulating feed water control valve. And then on the side, a modulating uh, makeup water control valve and a modulating steam control valve to get that heating steam into the feed water uh, tank. Down below, we have these feed water pumps. Each of the feed water pumps is sized for 100% duty. So we have two pumps, so you always have a backup, a 100% redundant system. In the back of the container, we have a, the heat exchanger up on top. Steam from the boiler comes to the heat exchanger so that we can produce hot water from this unit as well. The connections are out front. Below the heat exchanger, we have a 500 gallon oil tank, double wall tank, so that we can store the oil necessary for running the boiler on two oil. On the side, we have these, this duplex water softener system, each of the unit size, so that we can provide great water of great quality to the feed water system and to the boiler. Now there is some more equipment in the back, so let's check that out. Here in the back of the RH-150, we have everything blow down. Down here, we have the bottom blowdown valves that go to the, this blow-off vessel, a blowdown separator. But also going to the blowdown separator is a surface blowdown located in the upper half here. All of these things going to the blowdown receiver and going out the container after being cooled down by city water. And that's really all that we have here in the RH-150.